We're going to try this in a different format. Custom phone case paint job. I took some pictures as I was doing this. I didn't want to spray paint my phone, so I'd take a picture, do the thing, and put the phone away and you know spray some paint. So what I started off with was uh, just a regular black otter box because that's what was available for my phone. Uh, and I didn't like the other colors. And the problem that I have with this is when I lay the black phone down on anything, uh, I would lose it. So I needed something bright and obnoxious. Uh, and this actually started with my previous model phone, uh, which I had done the same thing. It had a gray case, as you can see. And I had some obnoxious yellow and then put some obnoxious orange over the top of it. And it wore and it looked kind of nice. Uh, and I was able to find the phone and a friend of mine, Robert, suggested that, uh, you know, this actually kind of had a Star Wars-ish vibe to it. So I thought, hey, let me uh, attempt to do it with the new, let me attempt to do that with the new OtterBox. Anyway, it does look kind of cool. I think it stayed like that for several months. Well, a year. Several months. Several, several, several months. Uh, the edges wore down, which is to be expected. Uh, the crevices, this was a textured back, uh, an indention, an indention. Uh, held onto the paint fairly nicely. Uh, and it did have kind of a Star Wars-ish vibe. So I decided to do the same thing with the new OtterBox. Um, I did wash it. I washed it with soap and water. I dried it. I let it dry. I went back and I cleaned it with... Uh, window cleaner let that dry clean it with just plain alcohol and let that dry and I thought hey I will start with some actual primer so I've got some automotive primer uh, and I sprayed it I sprayed it in an irregular pattern so that the paint might hold on to it in an irregular pattern uh, as it wore you would get some variations in the color um, so it's not completely gray which in a moment you'll find out it really didn't matter anyway and when I laid this down this was back in April April 26th uh, I was able to put down a, a coat. It would dry in a matter of moments. We had low humidity. It was a great sunny day. I'd lay down another coat. And we got a good base yellow coat over the primer that was there. Uh, and then I went in with this obnoxious orange, which I just love. And I hit it uh, in a fairly irregular manner. You can still see that some of the yellow is there and it's kind of speckled. Uh, and this was my intent. I wanted the layered effects so that as the paint would wear off, it would have some personality. You can see the speckling, kind of a large drop. And I don't remember what that little smudgy bit was there. This is what it looks like today. So that was April. This is August. So almost four months worth of wear and tear. Uh, the indentions are holding on to the paint fairly well. The edges, as expected, uh, are wearing thin. Uh, you can see a remnant of the heavy primer streaks that I put on. So this gets heavy use in and out of my pockets. I take this to the farm. I put it in my leg pocket on my cargo pants or in my back pocket when I'm at work. So it does see a lot of abrasion on a daily basis. So the edges wearing the paint off kind of makes sense. Um, the primer is stuck in some of the, the texture that's there. Again, it didn't help with any of the adhering of the paint. Uh, what we have going on here in the middle, like I said, from the abrasion of going in and out of a pocket, this actually wants to rub off. Uh, you can feel little bits of grit as the paint rolls up when I rub my hand over it. Uh, at which point I have to remove the little paint balls from it didn't quite have the same effect as I had hoped to have with the other case. Uh, both were fairly textured. Uh, this was a semi-flexible material. This is a rigid protective outer coating with a flexible uh, inner jacket. Um, I removed the two, obviously, and you could see from the, the paint pictures. But from the wear and tear, you know, the center part the center part has taken some abuse. The edges are taking some abuse. What's going on here in the middle is not as desirable as the wear and tear from the previous one. So, if anybody has any suggestions, uh, short of putting a clear coat of maybe lacquer or spray on truck bed liner, which I actually do have, um, let me know. I'm curious to see. 
uh, and then we'll give it a shot. Uh, I could put clear coat on here, but if I do put clear coat on, then we won't get any of the irregular wearing uh, unless maybe I just spray the clear coat on certain areas like the edges and maybe down the middle. Uh, but we were hoping for something irregular uh, to show wear and use to give it some personality along the way. Anyway, curious to see what you guys come up with. Thanks.